Hey everybody, today's video brings us back out to Autobahn, Pennsylvania. And the reason why we are in Autobahn, Pennsylvania today is to do something pretty amazing that honestly, I never thought I'd get the actual opportunity to do, especially not for one of these videos. So I am really, really excited about this. In fact, I just found out about this maybe 20 minutes ago. A friend of mine said, hey, you might wanna go back out to Autobahn because um, something pretty amazing is happening today. We are back at the St. Gabriel's Hall. Look at this place opened up in 1898. This was a school for troubled youth, so kids who were maybe in trouble with the law or kids who had families who maybe the families weren't the best, parents who really didn't treat them the best. Maybe they were alcoholics so they had some other kind of issues and they had no other family to go to. They would send them here to get a proper education. And just look at this building. How awesome is this place? It is beautiful looking. Shut down a couple of years ago was in service for about 120 years until unfortunately the archdiocese did actually shut the school down. But today we're gonna get to go inside, which is really, really exciting. They're apparently doing a big rummage sale. So all the all the guts and innards of this place, all the things that have been left behind are up for sale. They're just saying, whatever. You, you bring, apparently you just bring this stuff up front and they say, uh, eh, five bucks for that, 10 bucks for that, just whatever. So I'm not actually here to, find things. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll find something I want to pick up, but I'm here just to actually walk around inside because from what I was told, we pretty much have free reign of the place. I have no idea how long this video is going to go for. This could be a, um, a rather long video because I'm just going to walk around and look at this place with you guys. I'm really, really excited about this. I've always wanted to come in here ever since my parents used to threaten us driving right down there, right on 422, heading into the King of Prussia area, Valley Forge area, coming back home, and them saying, you better behave. You kids don't stop arguing in the back of that car. We're sending you to St. Gabe's. That's the, that's the place for bad kids. That's what they always used to tell us. And they said, if we were bad, we were going to St. Gabriel's Hall or St. Gabe's as they used to call it. So pretty awesome that we actually get to go inside here today. I thought this place was closed forever and we would never get to see the inside of here. Look at this building. Again, that is amazing. The amazing steeple there, the bell tower. Look at this archway here. How cool is this? The, the way this place was designed is just beautiful. You would never see this kind of architecture anymore. An 1898 architecture. It is amazing. We're gonna go inside now. Look at this. Look at the stonework here in this archway. The, the, the wrought iron railing. I am kind of blown away right now. The future starts today. How you Hello, how's it going? I'm so excited about this. Never thought I'd actually get to be inside here. Look at the tile work on the ground. All the wood paneling. This is like a bit of a dream come true right now. The fact that I actually get to be inside here. Oops, excuse me. What's inside here? Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that. Yeah, that's beautiful, ain't it? Beautiful stained glass. I've been trying to get in here for this class. <laughs> yeah? You want to take yeah. it home? Think they let you have it? No, no, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll pay an arm and a leg. I, I, I do a lot of, uh, it is beautiful looking. Abandoned churches. And stuff. Okay. Like and nice. Why not? It's going to turn into Yeah. Houses. That is gorgeous. Pretty amazing. Oh, excuse me. Look at this. Inside here, there's beds. So, I mean, people lived here, they worked here. Looks like at one point they just kind of closed the place down all of a sudden because there's all kinds of stuff that was left behind. There's a, ooh, there's a bathroom right here. All kinds of paintings. The crazy, just the beds are still here. It's like this weird closet that like went, was it a shared closet? It went, it went into the other room. Kind of weird. This place is huge though. There's so much to explore here. I'm just beyond excited about this. Another bedroom. I'm guessing this is probably staff. That would be my assumption. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is a robe. There's actually a, there's a robe here. I kind of I kind of want the robe. I would I look at a robe, right? Yeah. I, I, I think you would. I don't think it would drag too much. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm, th I'm thinking this may be what I, what I go home with. Look at that. Let me check a little bit. I can get it um, tailored. That's awesome. I kind of I kind of yeah. want the robe. <laughs> that is so cool. Do you see me rocking the robe? I can see me rocking the robe. But look at this place. It's like we're in an old like horror movie or something. I should just front face the camera the whole time. 
this is too amazing. Like I said, they kind of just closed down one day. There's all kinds of stuff that was left behind. Paintings and paperwork and who knows what that they just never, they never took. And that's why they're doing this rummage sale now. Just getting rid of all this, all this stuff that was left behind. They're saying, hey, come in, walk around, see what's here. And just, let's make, let's make some money. Look at the, the tile here. Another bathroom, maybe? Oh. It's a lot, whatever's inside there. They do not want you getting inside there. This is the Brothers Community Parlor, Parlor TV Room. This was a TV room at one point. Look at the weird hidden like panel up there. What, what do you think that was? That's creepy. It's weird, I'm waiting for like a face to look at you from out of there. Love the ceilings in this place too. A lot of these old buildings, unfortunately over time, they put drop ceilings in. Like a ceiling would just come from right here and over. A lot of these places have been converted with drop ceilings to help with the the cost of heat, not this place, they kept the ceilings. That is too amazing. Look at the, the flooring in here. It's like messing as a kitchen. Looks like a lot of the copper's been ripped out of here, whether or not that was vandals or, or they did that. Oh, look at the mirror. Look at that. There's me, hey, hey, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're actually in here. I'm kind of losing my mind right now. This is too awesome, look at this. Give thanks, I love it. It looks handmade maybe. See, things like this creep me out. Look at this. It's going to be these, these creepy, dark rooms that freak me out. I don't think this place is haunted or anything like that. I did take you guys to the, the cemetery across the road. We were there just last week showing you guys that. And a lot of you guys are actually leaving comments that you got to get in here someday. Hey, there's a dentist office somewhere in here? Yes, I saw it. Where? Yeah, um... Where was that? <laughs> I'm trying to think of where. I think it was, was it down here? I, yeah, they're, they're told, they're, it was this, it was in this direction. There's totally a, there, there was like a dentist chair and stuff. Yes, it's somewhere around here, somewhere. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure where, but I know I saw it. It's on this floor, it's in one of these rooms, something. Where, yeah, where, where, where was I earlier? I walked, I came in here earlier just to kind of like get the feel of the place. And I did see a dentist chair somewhere. And now I don't remember where. There where, was like an exam chair. Oh, over here? All the way down. Oh, it was down that, down that hall? Yeah. Oh, it was on the other side. Okay, I knew I saw one somewhere. All right. There's an extra machine down there. That's what it is. Okay, so it's on the other side of the hall. It's down, down that way. I think it was yeah, on one of the ends of the hall. There yeah, we go. Right. <laughs> See, I did come in here actually earlier, like right when I first got here. I just want to kind of get my bearings and realize that was not going to happen because this place was so huge. I don't know what that noise is. Look at this. Can we open this door? We can. Look at that. Okay, look at this, the, the, just the, the brickwork. This place is just amazing and it's beautiful. And at some point we're actually gonna get to go upstairs too and probably downstairs, which is pretty awesome. This is the kitchen here. Look at that. How many meals were made inside this kitchen over the, the, 100, the 120 years this place is in operation? Yep. That's how many can hold. Pretty crazy. So you figure all it's like eight, 1898, right? This is only half the kitchen. Now they put a wall up. They oh, wow. Jeez. So they definitely modified it for whatever reason. Pretty awesome. Yeah. There's even some food in here. Yeah, there's even kiwi there. <laughs> I'll, I'll, pass, I'll pass them the kiwi. I'm glad no, I'm not the only one here who isn't maybe necessarily just here for the sake of trying to find things. They're here for just the history of this place and wanting to come inside here one last time. I'm guessing this was the, probably the, the dinner hall. You can see the old trays here, the old tables. Like all the kids, all the, all the boys over the, again, 120 years who sat at these tables. I mean, these tables are probably not 120 years old, but still, you think about how many kids had, had dinner in here, either lunch in here, had hot meals served out of these trays right here. It's pretty crazy to think. Look at this. What's this vine ripe, ripe tomato? Is it tomatoes in a can? You can buy tomatoes in a can here. There's all kinds of food here. I mean, obviously they had to get their food in bulk to serve all the kids and to serve the staff here. It's crazy to think that stuff was just left here, but it makes me wonder how old this stuff is because this place shut down a couple years ago. It's not like this place shut down yesterday. This place has been shut down for a couple of years. So hopefully this stuff is still shelf stable. I guess it would be. Canned food stays around for a while, right? Oh my goodness, look at this. Wow. 
industrial kitchen in here. You yeah, with the amazing tile work. This place is huge. We're gonna be exploring for a while. Longest vlog yet. Pretty awesome that we get like full reign of the place. A lot of times, like they take these places and they're like, okay, we're gonna take you on a tour, or not a tour, but like, well, you have to basically hold our hand through this entire place. You can kind of look at stuff, or they have things roped off. For the most part, they're just like, have at it. Just go, just walk around, just see what's here. If you know, you want the you want the tray, take it up front. We'll tell you it's a dollar or two. You can take it home with you. I'm kind of hoping maybe I find something. What's this? You, look at the used first sticker here. You used first. That is awesome. I don't know what, I would love to find something that says like St. Gabriel's Hall or something like that on it. I don't know if something like that would be, what's this say? St. Gabe's Food and Nutrition Services. <gasps> Look at the trucker hat. Okay, well, well, <laughs> did, I, did I just find what I want maybe? That is pretty awesome. Okay, all right. <laughs> I just found a cool, pretty cool trucker hat. You know, I ask and you shall receive, right? So I said I wanted something with St. Gabe's on it and then I found something. Look at these old chairs. Pretty amazing. Again, this place kind of just shut down one day. They did sort of announce out of nowhere that they were shutting down. So my assumption is due to the fact that I'm seeing so much paperwork and clothing and the bedding and all the stuff still here, they did just sort of shut down. And I don't think they gave anybody any real notice. There's lots of computers in here. Wow, look at all this. Computers and printers and all kinds of stuff. Pretty amazing. I don't need any of that. I'm happy about my hat. My hat find was a cool find. I'm digging this. It's a cool trucker hat. All right. I want to head upstairs. Oh, look at the St. Gabriel system. Look at that. Keeping faith with youth for over 100 years. That's a pretty cool sign. I don't know what I would do with something like that, though. I'm thinking the hat is something, is something pretty good. It's a good memento. I don't know if I want to have the, the painting. So can we go upstairs now? We can go through, like... Look at that, there's, there's a downstairs, there's an upstairs, and apparently we can just, we can just explore. So, we're, we're going to explore. Congratulations to all, we are a certified sanctuary. Can we open this? We can. Look at all the old, the old bedding up here. Oh, there's a, Wow, look at the billiards, billiards table. This is so cool. It smells incredibly musty up here right now. This pool table is pretty awesome. That I would love to take home. That would be so cool. <laughs> oh, I need to catch my breath. I am, I am pretty excited about this. Never in a million years did I think I'd be walking these halls. Maybe when I was little, my parents threatened to send me here. Maybe at that point, I kind of thought, maybe I'd be walking these halls if I wasn't a good boy. Didn't stop arguing, arguing with my brother. But as an adult, never. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Just showers in there. See, this kind of thing creeps me out. Look at that. We'll just, we'll just not go inside there. There's an old TV here. Oh, can, we, can we get through these doors? We can. There's another restroom oh, here. I don't know where exactly these, these lead to. I mean, I would love to get into areas like that over there. But I'm not entirely sure how you get to the head area. Like, this is all, oh, there's a, I found a movie. <laughs> Here's some Transformers. Revenge of the Fallen. No actual DVD inside, but still pretty awesome. All right. We're going to keep on exploring here. So I'm kind of lost. I'm not entirely sure where we are. Here's a VHS set of, uh, a woman called Moses. So, maybe like rent movies out here? I'm not entirely sure. I 
Um, see, I don't know if we go, like, do I want to go down there? I'm also scared these doors are going to, like, lock on me, which would not be good. Oh, there's a, hold on. Can I? We're good. We're good. I don't know if I want to go down here. This doesn't look like an inner area that we are supposed to be going down. Look at this. And this is the part. Nope, nope, nope. This is the part where the, the, the zombies come out and they attack me and I'm not. All right, let's go back up. I'm not going down there. I don't know what's down there. I don't want to know what's down there. I mean, I kind of want to know what's down there. I've seen one too many horror movies though to know that that's, yeah, that's a, that's a terrible idea. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure where we are right now. I'm kind of sort of lost. There's no more upstairs. I guess we're on the top floor right now. But I do believe there was a bottom. These doors do not have anti-slamming devices on them. All right, so we were, we actually came from inside there earlier. So I guess we'll go down. See what's down here. These floors are actually metal. Yeah, it's so weird. I can hear a lot of people down here. <laughs> wow. Look at these old doors. We're, like the, we're, we're in the basement right now. I'm seeing Gabriel's Hall. This is pretty awesome. Again, I'm not entirely sure where we're heading at the moment, just kind of exploring. These doors are amazing, look at these. I mean, that's a, that's a 1989 door, or sorry, eight, 1898. Get my dates mixed up, 1898 door right there. This is a very old porch. I mean, obviously it's the basement, probably did not really do a lot of work to this. Look at the old woodwork here. That is pretty amazing. This feels like it's straight out of a horror movie, and I'm loving it. The old closet here, you can the old brickwork. Those punch, punch bowls, giant, giant punch bowls. This is just, this is just too cool. These look terrifying, oh my gosh. It smells, it smells wonderful. Inside these, these areas here it is extremely, extremely musty. So clearly this was the basement. This is where all the storage was. I don't know what these, are these pants? Look at all the pants down here. So maybe they did laundry down here as well. Red cap pants since 1923. They may have been using them since 1923. Look at the old shoes down here as well. Look at all this, all the old clothing down here. So basically a whole bunch of like dicky style pants and these shoes. There's a tennis ball here. So you're the guy when you know you're from Phoenix, aren't you? Yes! <laughs> I am the guy who's on. You do some pretty good articles. Thank you! I'm, I'm exploring St. Gabe's right now. Look at the, oh jeez, is the old meat locker? Look at, look at that. And, saw me online? Awesome, thanks. <laughs> oh yeah yep <laughs> i am right now yeah awesome <laughs> look at this so at one point this would have been the old meat locker i'm looking for maybe like hooks or something like that i don't see i don't see anything that creepy i don't know what that was i was making some noise over there This is just too cool. If they had some old meat hooks in here, I would totally buy an old meat hook. That'd be amazing. But look at this, again, this door is so cool. Look how thick it is. The insulated door, again, with this amazing handle. So you don't get locked in, that is too cool. All right, so that was like, the, like I said, a little basement kind of area. And then you get into this area here, which I'm guessing was actually used. I mean, there's laundry facilities over there. This looks more like something kids maybe would have been. Oh, it's a wood shop. 
big old bandsaw over here. Look at that. I remember using one of these in high school. I was terrified of this thing. Yeah. Always thought I'd cut my fingers off with that. The old ventilation system here, We're sucking up all the, all the sawdust. Oh, there's somebody's, somebody's like, like, I don't know, house or something they were building there. This is pretty cool. So this is the woodworking area. That's awesome. Look at the, what is this over here? Oh, just a way in and out. Again, the old staircase here. I'm just too put away by all this. Oh my, oh, well, that's terrifying. <laughs> that's not what you want to see walking through this creepy area. Who? Who put Chucky up on the, can I buy the Chucky? Can we go in here? We can't, it's locked. I, I kind of want to buy the Chucky. It's terrifying. It's a bunch of award, uh, maybe awards? Completion certificates. <laughs> I know, I'm such a nerd when it comes to this stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm loving this so much. I probably, I probably have had the biggest smile on my face the entire, the entire time I've been in here. The old globe. St. Gabe's will be missed. Lunchtime. Yeah, there's a ton of them down there. Yeah, all the all the shoes and all the pants. Wow! Look at that TV. Or screen anyway, monitor maybe. These are, wow, these are awesome. When do you think these were from? See, some of this stuff like just feels like it was from like the 1800s. I mean, that that's crazy. Is this some, some ICP right now? Laugh now? To say okay cave later there was a there's a juggalo in here at some point a juggalo must have gone to this this school these actually are all they're all painted is that, is that tupac that's tupac right there so we got we got icp so we've seen clown posse we got tupac and then this one is just keep it keep it 100 i don't know what that means if you do leave a comment some board games we got um quiz quizmo tell time bingo Just too cool. Look at the American flag painted on the wall there. I know what you're saying. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Check this out. But I mean, look at this stuff. Let freedom ring. There's a Liberty Bell, the Independence Hall in the background, July 1776. And the American flag painted there on the on the wall. Look at the St. Gabe's tile work there. Is that, it's Bill Nye, the science guy? What do you think they did in here? Leave comments down below. What do you think that, like it looks like maybe a science class or something. There's a, there's a skeleton drawn on the, on the wall. There's a picture of the sun or a, a star anyway. There's the human body right there. Everyone has a right to his education. No one has the right to dispute that. Well, this must have been, this must have been science. I mean, there's, there's planets up there. This is cool. There's like nature over here. So my assumption is this was the science classroom. Look at all the old books. We used to have tables like this. I remember when I was in high school. Look at all these. This is just too awesome, guys. Exploring St. Kate Reels Hall here in Audubon, Pennsylvania. Look at the, the pillar there, keeping this whole place whole place up. I don't know what's going to happen to this place. Look at, oh my gosh, look at this. I don't want to make this a seven month long video, but it might be a seven month long video. Look at the old boots in here. Again, some more pants and another awful smell. It smells really bad in here. <laughs> Who knows what that smell is. Something may have died in here. There was definitely a bunch of rat feces in one of the hallways. So who knows? Who knows? Here's some of the kids. Food, desert versus food, forest. As humans, we live in our minds. Pretty awesome. Another oh, restroom. Ooh, it smells back here. So these are more restrooms. 
It um, it doesn't smell great back here. The flooring's awesome though. I love all the murals they painted. There's a lot more, a lot more books. There's a, here's a library. A lot more books in here. Look at that mural. This place just goes on and on and on. It never ends. I mean, this place was huge. It was gigantic. I don't know how much further we're going to go. But I mean, as you can see, it goes quite a ways. So she worked here for 25 years. Who did? She did. You worked here for 25 years? 23. 23 years? Wow, awesome. Uh, of the clinics. Oh, wow. This place is pretty amazing looking. It's yes, huge. Um, I don't want to put people on camera without you know, asking them first. Teamwork makes the dream work. It's a jo Joshua DVD, Fatso. Football when men were really men. There's Tyson, here's a, is that like a popcorn bucket? Who knows what you're gonna find here? I'm really happy about my, my hat find though. Jungle Book, Arabian Nights. It's pretty awesome we're actually finding movies here. I'm digging that. Man, if I can only find some movies I actually needed, that'd be pretty cool. That'd make this trip just 100% complete. Oh, what? Wow, I just, <laughs> it's just, what, what, I, what, huh, what, wow. Look, I mean, look at this. Again, look at the, the really awesome stairway here. That is too cool. And then I want to show you guys what's over here. There's people in here right now, but we're going to go in there anyway. Oh, sorry, I try not to do that. Look at this. Look at the stonework. I mean, what do you think this was back in the day? Like, what? Who knows what they they stored in here at one point? This little basketball net. Just who knows? Here's the security must have been in here because there's the security camera. The guy was actually click when we walked in. He was clicking through the different the different cameras, taking a look at all the different areas around the building. Elevators, another classroom here. Again, I can't believe I'm actually getting to do this. Walk the halls of St. Gabe's. Always wanted to be inside here. Just see this place with my own eyes and the fact that I'm getting to do it today, it's pretty amazing. What do you think? See, they, they definitely put drop ceilings down here. What do you think that used to say? So like I said, a lot of these places will put drop ceilings in to help with the the, the heating costs, the heating and, and AC costs, because the smaller the lower the ceilings, the more the easier the easier the heat, the more the more or uh, the less you have to heat. The the large spaces need more heat. Heat also rises, so it costs a lot more to heat areas with big ceilings. That's why a lot of places you go into old old houses, like old like really old castles, things like that, they have doors that come up to like here. And everybody always jokes, oh, people were a lot shorter back in the day. That's not the case. They had doors that only went up to here to keep the heat in. That's why they did that back in the day. Look at this. World Trade Center, Castaway, Forrest Gump, sne uh, Sneakers. There's a lot of movies here, actually. Again, don't actually see any movies I need, but pretty awesome. Never nevertheless, my mouth is getting all dry now. We've been talking for 30 minutes now. I've been rambling on about how amazing this is. I don't know how much longer this video is gonna go. I just don't wanna stop filming. I wanna just capture everything I can possibly capture. Maybe once we get to a dead end, we'll, we'll end the video. I love all the paintings actually on the, like that, those are actually paintings on the actual, st um, not stone, not brick, cinder blocks. That's what I'm looking for. So, so was like, was this like outside at one point? Like, there we go. Was this like outside at one point? You can see the windows there. That's, that's so weird. What a weird way to do that. Look at the display case. 
My mouth is getting so, <laughs> so I should have brought a bottle of water with me. I didn't realize I'd be doing this for a half hour, over a half hour. What do you think that is? My mouth is going completely dry at this point. Also the fact that I've been like walking around, my mouth just like gaped open, probably isn't helping at all. I'm just like, smart VHS tapes, look at this. Men in black, two. So you think you're going to live forever, what? what? Jurassic Park three, Three Musketeers, the kid. Look at these, that's awesome. So I'm guessing this was a library, probably at one point. There's a TV on the wall there. Look at these little tables. The windows are awesome. There's some games. Tiki, it's a Tiki Challenge game by Lakeshore. I have no idea. We might be hitting a dead end now. Oh, look at the, another library. That's cool. So again, we might be hitting a dead end now. Maybe. Or maybe it'll just keep going. Look at the, the glass brick there. What is this? Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. Enter to learn, leave to serve. Who are these guys? No idea. If you know, leave a comment down below. Wow. This is, this is too amazing. <laughs> See, the problem is now that I'm done filming, well, if I, if I am done filming, we're, we're, just, we're gonna keep walking for now, but I'm gonna have to go back and walk through all this again because I'm gonna wanna take photos of all this. I documented this in the video, which is awesome, but I have to like document this again then in photos. I'm not entirely sure where we are right now. Like, look, look at this place, it's huge. I'm completely 100% lost. I have no, no idea if I should go that way. This is not the correct way. I could go back upstairs. Oh. I did do the water roll video. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> I really saw the water roll video. That was a very, very popular video. So I think we're, do we make a circle? We may, we may have made a circle. I think we were down that way. So I wanted to show you guys the like dentist's office, which may have actually been, may have been oh my gosh, maybe down there. Look at all these movies over here. Look at these. I'm so out of breath now from all that walking around. That was a lot of walking. I don't think I need any of those movies, so I'm gonna end up passing on those. But I wanna show you like the, there was a dentist chair. I think it was down this way, if I'm not mistaken. Is this like mail? There's, there's, there's stuff in there, there's, ad, there's addresses. They left their mail here. That's so weird. I know, oh, here's, here we go, look at this. Old x-ray machine, this is the dentist's office. Pretty awesome, pretty cool. Oh, here we go, look at this. This is the dental chair. That is terrifying. I don't know about you guys, I am, I am terrified of the dentist. I do not like going to the dentist. That's pretty awesome though, sorry. I wanted to show you, show you, to you guys. I think we have pretty much made a complete circle at this point. We've seen not everything here. There's so much more to see here. I'm sure I guess for the next three hours walking around this place, exploring every little nook and cranny, but we've kind of made a circle. So I'm thinking good place to leave this video right now. But look at that shot right there down the hall. Stained glass up there. Who's, whose hand is that shooting light? Is that Jesus? Is Jesus' hand shooting lightning out? Did Jesus ever, he's like, he's going Emperor Palpatine. I'm gonna say that's Emperor Palpatine's hand. 
going, no, no, right? All right, guys, this has been pretty cool. I'm glad we got to walk through here. I'm sorry this video is probably weird because I'm like freaking out the entire time. I'm losing my mind. I'm just going nuts. Here's a, here's a doctor's office. Look at the scale right here. All the different rooms for patients. So if the boys were sick, this is where they would have brought them. Too cool. Psych oh, psychiatric office. There's a bunch of pictures of children here. Maybe for people who, who, who like, like, like boys who maybe got people pregnant. I have no idea. It's kind of weird. All right. So like I said, I think that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to bring you guys out here quick, show this off to you, because this is too awesome. In fact, we actually got to come here into St. Gabriel's Hall, walk around, see this place. It's been somewhere I've always wanted to go inside. I've driven past here about a billion times in my, my life as a kid, as a teenager, as an adult, just driving past St. Gabriel's Hall. I always thought it looked amazing from the outside, always wanted to come into the inside. Never actually thought I'd get to have that happen until today, when, like about an hour ago, I had a friend contact me and said, hey, Supposedly you can go inside St. Gabe's today. And I had to make the drive out here to go check this out. Too awesome, too cool. But all right, guys, I'm gonna let you go now. I'm gonna go pay for my, my hat, walk around, take some pictures, hopefully not pass out from the fact that I haven't drank anything this entire time I've been filming, I've been filming this video. So all right, guys, with that, we're done. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon if you guys do become a patron. I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and for Patreon to do good help supporting the show, keeping the show going. So I really do appreciate that. Look at those. Pretty awesome. All right, guys. So like I said, that is it. Oh, there's a playground out there. Look at those. The swings and the basketball nets. Too amazing. Too cool. So happy I got to see this place finally. Who knows what they're doing with this place? I don't know if it's going to get torn down. I feel this place should be considered a historical landmark. It should be preserved. I'm hoping they take this place. And even, even if they turn it into apartments or something, they should do something with this land and not just, not just tear it down. I mean, they could put some new homes, some new you know, houses here. They could put a strip mall in here. They could do anything like that. I'm hoping that does not happen. I'm hoping this place is preserved and stays around forever because it is pretty awesome. Really cool building. Like I said, 1898, serve the community for 120 years until it was randomly just shut down, but pretty cool. A place for troubled youth, kids who were in trouble with the law, kids who had families who weren't able to take care of them for one reason or another, came out here, got the education they, they deserved, got the help they needed. Pretty awesome, pretty cool. So, I guess that's it. So, like I said, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. Again, one last shot here down the hall, St. Gabe's. All right, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.